Hello. In this video, we are going to be covering the installation and setup of your apparel printing software. If you're installing a demonstration version, you can ignore the following section that refers to dongles and license files. The demo version is a fully working version that will last 30 days, but it will only run if you have a valid internet connection, and after 30 days, it will stop running and require you to purchase to continue using the software. To start the installation process, you need to launch the installer. This might be provided on a separate DVD, it may be a file downloaded, or it may be on the actual dongle. If the installer is on a DVD, it should automatically launch when placed in the DVD drive. Otherwise, locate the setup.exe from your installer location. For demonstration versions, this may have a different name and be a single executable. Start the installation by double-clicking on the setup. Select the language you wish to use. This should match your license files. If you wish to use another language, ask your dealer for new license files in your preferred language before continuing with the installation. If you have a dongle and have not yet plugged it into your computer, do so now and then click Next and it should find the license files on the dongle automatically. We will then proceed through the installation. Click next to the first screen. You then have the usual legal terms and conditions which you have to agree to. You now have two choices. Complete installation, which is what we will be choosing, or plugins only. This installs just the plugins for Illustrator, Corel and Photoshop. And you can use these if you want to install these plugins onto additional computers that you want to print from. Click next to select the default location for the installation, which is what we recommend, or change if you want to choose a new location. Click next to select the default start program folder to find your start shortcuts. The installation of the apparel software will take anything from a couple of minutes up to 15 minutes, depending on your computer and the version of Windows running. Later versions are much faster, and typically this shouldn't take more than two or three minutes. At the end of the installation, click Yes to restart your computer. Once the installation is complete and your computer has restarted, you can launch your apparel software for the first time using the shortcuts created. The first time you run the software, you must select your preferred units, inches, millimeters, or centimeters, and the number of decimal places you want to be able to use for accuracy. You will then proceed through a setup wizard for installing a printer. Click Next, then click Install Printer. Select the printer you wish to use from the available list and select OK. In order to ensure that you get the latest version of the printer driver, select Search Online Server for the printer package and this will find the very latest available printer package to install on your system. Only use the DVD option if you don't have an internet connection. It will then install the printer package for you and you should see your apparel printing software window displayed at the end. When the printer was installed, it will have installed predefined queues for printing to different shirt types. Before you can use these to print to your printer, you must first configure the output port for your queues. Make sure your printer is on and connected to the computer. Then go to Queue, Manage Queues. This will display a list of all your queues, 
along with the output port for each queue. On a new installation, this will default to file. To change this, click on the down arrow for the port on the first queue. For a USB device, you should see the printer name clearly displayed. As an example, I have a Ricoh 3110 connected. Just select the correct USB printer name for your device. It will then ask you if you would like to change all the queues. Select yes and it will change the port for all your queues present. If your printer is connected via the network, select the port options TCP IP network device instead. Then enter the IP address of your printer. If you are not sure about the IP address, ask your network administrator. The default setting is for RAW. Check with your manufacturer as some machines only support LPR. This is the protocol used for printing via TCP IP. Most devices these days do support RAW. That's it. You're now ready to start printing. Have a look at the Q overview video to help you get familiar with the software interface and to get printing.